All right, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to show that f of x and g of x are going to be inverse functions. So what we're going to have to show is that when we do the composition of a function and its inverse, what we're going to get out is going to be x. So what I mean by composition, if I do f of g of x, I'm going to get out x. And it also has to work for um, the other way. If I do g of f of x, I'm also going to get out x. So when we're proving or showing you know, that they're um, inverses, we're going to have to use the composition. And if you remember, just you know, composition, all I'm doing is I'm taking the function g of x and I'm plugging it into my f of x function. So let's look at what would f of g of x look like. So if I did f of g of x, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to evaluate my f of x function for g of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my f of x function, which is square root of x minus 4. Well, let's make that even bigger. Well, instead of x, right, because remember this is f of x, instead of using x, I'm now going to write in g of x, right? Do you remember doing evaluations like f of 2? You just plugged in the 2 for the x. So now I'm going to plug in g of x. Well, what does g of x equal, right? g of x equals x squared plus 4. So, it's, so this, I mean, you understand that I'm putting the g of x in there, but I'm not going to write g of x. That's not going to help me do anything. I'm going to write in x squared plus 4. Make sense? So now what you can see is these two cancel each other out. Therefore, I'm left with square root of x squared. Those cancel out, so I'm left with an x. All right. So therefore, it's good on this one. Now, to show it, that might be enough reasoning. But when you're proving that singular inverses, you have to do it. You have to do it both ways. Okay, that's condition. You have to do it if and only. You have to do it both both ways. So now let's do the composition of g of x. So g of x is. Um, or g of f of x is going to look like this. So I have x squared plus 4, right? Well, now, instead of using x, we're going to plug in f of x. Well, so it looks something like that, right? But what does f of x equal? f of x equals the square root of x minus 4. So that's actually what I'm going to plug in. I'm going to plug in the square root of x minus 4, and I'm going to square it. Well, again, we look at this. What is the square root of something squared? Cancels out. So I'm left with x minus 4 plus 4. These cancel out, and I'm left with an x. So therefore, when I did composition both ways, since I both got an x, uh, these are inverses of each other. 